Hi guys, let's have a look at creating playing card designs and templates in Affinity Designer. This is another short How Do I video and it's just about playing cards. Fairly easy to set up and you're probably familiar with it. But for those who want their own master playing card files, here's how you do it. Suitable for the iPad or the desktop. Now there's a couple of methods in this and I'm just brushing on them, not going into them in great detail. But in Designer, step one, create a new blank document. 633.6 pixels wide and 898.5 pixels in height. The colour palette is CMYK because you're probably going to print these out. Although if you're using a home printer, you can use anything you like, RGB. Portrait mode and transparent background. And you can see there, it's a transparent background. You can see the sizes marked there. Now let's have a look at that background. Drag out a white rectangle to fill the area and set the corner type to round. And you can see it there. You'll see a little option beside that to set to curves. But we don't want to do that yet, but you will eventually set the curves. Your whole document needs to be curves. So you can do that whenever you like, now or later. It doesn't really matter. Now the background corners. When you drag out the rectangle and set the corners to round, a small red dot will appear in one corner. And that's the little dot that allows you to adjust the size of the corner. With your pen, Carefully drag this dot out towards the corner to reduce the curve size. Now all four corners will be affected, so be careful. It's only once it's all converted to curves that you can add nodes and adjust sizes, and that's a real fiddle. For this we want all the corners to be the same, because your card will look the same. And you can put a grid behind all that so you can see what you're doing. You can set corners and boundaries, put guidelines in, so your corner is exactly the size you want. I haven't actually done that here, but that's for you to do. You'll notice that all playing cards have smooth round corners. Now you can go back and tap the two curves tool in the context toolbar to convert the new cornered rectangle to a curve. That's what you want to do first, really. It is now converted to curves. Now step six. There are usually four suites in a suits in a card pack, so we need four identical layers, at least. And if you're going to make each layer a master card, you've got four colour masters. Plus one extra layer for the other cards that might make up a deck, the jokers and the extra cards. Four cards, four colours. Now there we go. Set up your cards as follows. The red, jack to king and ace, and the black, jack to king and ace. And you can do these each in their own layer. Easy to modify. Now you can go to all the trouble of making those up like that. Or you can have sets of numbers, upside down and back to front of course. <laughs> upside down at least, and the right way around. And the diamonds in this case. Now that's all in a layer, and it's beneath the red two of diamonds. So that's a good way to set up a master. So you've got individual cards. Now you can do one master for each card. You can see there I've got 10 of diamonds, three of diamonds, five of diamonds, red three of diamonds, red two of diamonds, and black three of clubs. <coughs> set, up, <coughs> set up there so far. Excuse my cough. Or you can create a suitably sized project and place all the cards on that one sheet. Now there, there is a super sized sheet, but all the cards are there. And the, the sheet needs to be 2496 pixels, 2496 by 1080 in size. And that way you'll fit all the cards on there neatly at the size I told you originally. That will accommodate the cards. Now you'll notice if you have a look on the download website that both the original file I've created and this file 
in Affinity Designer um, file type are available in the download folder. Now, whichever method you choose, you can export it as a template. But let's continue with our original idea. Let's look at red diamonds. And we can modify this. If you don't want 52 individual layers, what you need is one layer with all the diamonds on it. Now, when you come to wanting, let's say, a two of diamonds, then you only need two of those diamonds and you can not delete but switch off the diamonds you don't want. To look at this, this is the master and contains all possible combinations of the diamonds. Export this as red diamonds template. When creating your card, hide all the diamonds that you don't need. Place the number you want in the number position. That's above and below the little single diamond on the side of course. Repeat this for the other suits of cards and colours and that's it. Make sure all content is converted to curves. And if you look closely there you'll see that all of those are curves. That means you can enlarge them, reduce them, um, send them to a print shop and then not need to worry about fonts, although there's no fonts involved there. It makes it very easy to adjust the size without getting those horrible little jaggies everywhere. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up to like.